Thank you for joining us. This is an instructional video of how to record a shitty song by yourself in maybe a half hour using Reaper. First, we will record some drums. do nicely. This will do very nicely, um, as it is very bad and that's what we want. But that's what we can get, so we will take it. So let's record some bass. Now, people often say to me, what key do you like to have your music in? And uh, I don't know. I, it's tough choices, and so I usually just pick one at random. Uh, that and I don't really know the advantages of any particular key other than how, how easy it is to play, really. Yes. So I will, I will get my bass and now this is a fretless bass and it's not because I'm some good bass player. It's because then I don't have to tune it, see? I can just play wherever I feel like. 
good step is to put your phone down too because it doesn't interfere with the sophisticated electronics. For this sound, I want a nice distorted bass. Just to get my head around what what I will need to play, uh, but not too much. You can't you can't be too rehearsed. I mean, you can be too rehearsed, and you don't want to be. <laughs> now the important part about the important part about bass playing is to look very bored. Um, those bass players who are out there who like rock the bass, it's not good. You need to be more. You know, like the Colin Greenwoods of the world. Now, I banged my bass earlier, so I'm, I'm going to check the tuning. Which I know I was like, but it's not quite that simple. Okay. Let's see. We'll record now. how long I can keep up this charade, to be honest. Now that the part or the bass is done, I'm going to move on to the part. Well, the bass is going to be part of it. and delay, because then you don't really have to do very much. For example, the clean sound, which we all know so well, is so boring. And you actually have to know what you're doing to get a decent sound out of it. So instead, I propose we have some nice technological aid. 